Shalom and good day all. This is the Helam 29 returning back again for another manga review. Uh, as you can see this time we are covering Yu Yu Hakusho volumes 8, 9 and 10. So let's get to it. As we return back to the tournament, tournament arc, at uh, the Dark Tournament arc, uh, we still got our main cast of characters being Yusuke, Hiei Kurabara, and Genkai. Uh, Team Urameshi uh, goes up against Ichigai and one member also uses a blood art form. Uh, moving to sort of like the next three chapters within the story, Team Urameshi goes up against, of course, the same formidable oppressor um, of the same group, to which they use a body art form, and an ice master. It still takes on and continues, and we do see a bit of hardship, but not enough um, enough hardship to see the characters learn to overcome their adversaries. And until you move into the third part of this, to where Yusuke goes up against a wind specialist demon, who goes by the name of Jin. And I won't reveal any spoilers as to what happened there, or how he turns out in the end. As we move on to Volume 9, we have Team Urameshi going up against the Fractured Fairy Tales. Yep, you heard it right, the Fractured Fairy Tales. <laughs> and also another group. Um, Team Urameshi, as they continue... In this dark tournament, they start to make a little bit more progress, moving into the semi-finals. Moving into the second part, to where Genkai, Genkai um, takes off her mask and and speaks to Yusuke Urameshi and basically gets him out to sit on the side for a while. In other words, catch up, get some bloody rest. Which I reckon was bloody good, good advice for him. <laughs> um, so whilst Yusuke is getting some rest, Team, team Urameshi's um, key opponents now are Team Toguro, the High Five Rangers, and the Fractured Fairy Tales. Because even Team Urameshi are now a part of the top four. In these semi-finals. So moving on to the last three parts. Team Urameshi still goes up against the Fractured Fairy Tales. With Hiei taking the lead as Yusuke is getting some rest. And restoration in the background. Um, story rating for the last two volumes, which I just, oh, this volume and the last volume I just covered is 8.5 out of 10 for story and art. Uh, one thing I also want to point out is how well this story actually flows with one volume through to the next. And you also see it within the next volume. And here we go, we move on to volume 10. To which, in this, Team Urameshi are still up against the Fractured Fairy Tales. And it basically moves into the area of, well, something happening between them. So, moving into the first part, Genkai's face is finally revealed as the masked fighter within the Dark Tournament. Up against an opponent. And this leads to a bit of an unexpected reunion for the character. 
But we don't only have this reunion with Genkai's character. We also have a reunion with Yusuke's character, which is really nice too. Because Keiko also makes an appearance. So whilst Yusuke is resting outside the Dark Tournament, he does get an unexpected visitor whilst he is with Keiko, which puts him in a bit of a vulnerable situation. I won't say what, but yes, we do see a bit of a vulnerable situation with the character. So, as Team Yurameshi makes their next advancement, uh, the leading of the main team is now up against Team Togaru. The story and art, I would give an 8.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed this. Um, if you'd like to see me cover some more Yu Yu Hakusho, let me know in the comments. Most definitely, let me know in the comments. Because... I might not have the time to review the rest of them because I've got other manga that I want to read and catch up with. Until then, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, maybe even let me know what you're reading in the comments. Whether it's manga, comic, something else. And how you're enjoying it or even any recommendations that you'd like to see me maybe review on channel um, just I think I already covered this the story rating for this was also 8.5 out of 10 and remember let's keep it colorful